congratulations. It's been a long four years, but each and every single one of us has pushed through to make it to where we are right now, graduation. Thank you to our teachers who constantly put their hearts and souls into preparing us for college, making us believe in ourselves and displaying the power we each hold to create our futures. You have all been phenomenal role models. Through your compassion, all of you have helped me to see that home is not necessarily a physical place. Looking back on these four years, we really have grown and been through a lot together. The class of 2020 and I have accomplished leaps and bounds more than we ever imagined to in our time at Dunlap High School. For the class of 2020, literally all of the odds have been stacked against us. But despite all of these setbacks, we're here and we're graduating. And that speaks volumes. We are the next generation of leaders, learners, and facilitators of change. And we know that we have what it takes. We should be proud of this current achievement, but we should also work hard in the future, have the courage to strive for success, and to develop more precise skills to ensure that we can complete greater achievements down the road. I ask you to remember, as we move forward, to try to look at every situation as an opportunity with a positive attitude, and to solve one problem at a time. We can be confident, based on our past experiences, that we're capable of overcoming any obstacle and creating a way to find joy, satisfaction, and happiness no matter what life throws at us. Choosing to grow each and every day to impact and inspire others instead of striving to be better or miles ahead of others, that I feel like is a beautiful sacrificial perseverance that isn't rigid or cutthroat, but instead helps bring others up with us. Self-compassion acknowledges that failure is inevitable, allowing us to accept and learn from our shortcomings. So as you continue to face the joys and hardships of life, face your imperfections head on, and remember that your pain is deserving of compassion too. We are the perfect example of perseverance and determination. What we are experiencing right now is just a fraction of our lives, and I know that you all have the strength and the determination to make it through your experiences and walk into our future stronger because of it. We have worked four long yet short years to get to this point today and we have accomplished many things along the way. We have learned, expanded our knowledge, found comfort in new friends, and pursued our interests. In the end, we all want to thank our peers and our friends for helping to make Dunlap a place that we are able to grow as individuals, surrounded by compassionate and caring people. Parents, friends, guardians, grandparents, or anyone who has helped us get here today, thank you. Thank you for raising us, taking care of us, and showing us what it means to be compassionate individuals. Our journey through high school has finally come to an end. We should be proud of our accomplishments, excited for the future, and look back at how we have impacted the community of Dunlap. Most importantly, we need to realize the significance that this moment holds. It's a turning point from dependency to independence, but now, we're all going our separate ways, and our future is in our own hands. But no matter where life takes you, one common theme resides, independence. It is our time to finally show it. It can feel overwhelming to literally define your own path, but we all figured it out. Dunlap High School didn't teach us what to think, but rather how to think. Instead of looking to others to define us, every single one of us defines our identity for ourselves. If we are ever struggling later in life, with the problems of adulthood becoming seemingly insurmountable, we need only to think back to this year. More important than any individual recognitions, honors, or achievements, the class of 2020 can say they survived with flying colors. And that's heck of an achievement. Do what you want to. Become what you want to be. Don't listen to people who are trying to pull you down. Because at the end of the day, you have to live your life, not them. Graduates, now that we are going out into the real world, it is important to remember what our parents taught us. And I hope you all continue to lead with compassion in your future endeavors. The times in which we are graduating are truly unprecedented. This crisis has impacted every senior in some unique way. There are no instruction manuals, no guidebooks, no experts advising us on how to navigate such a complicated web of obstacles. But despite all of this, know that there is always something new on your horizon. Your horizon. We are all setting out on different paths. None of us have or will experience the same things in life. Keep this in mind, class of 2020. 
And do not be afraid to make your own path. Do not be afraid to do something that no one else has done before. Just remember to think about your own ideas of achievement and set your own goals one at a time. Our story with Dunlap is done, yet I am very excited to see what this amazing class of 2020 can achieve on its own. So as we run this race of our future, let's make it exactly that, our future. Class of 2020, time and time again you have proven your unwavering resilience, and I know that it will carry us far. We have, and always will, stand up and fight in the face of adversity. We are an incredibly strong group of individuals and an even stronger student body. You all have such bright futures ahead of you, and I am so honored to have known each and every one of you. So thank you, Class of 2020. I've had the time of my life. Class of 2020, vision is your legacy. See what the world and those around you have to offer and live your life to the fullest. You will always be eagles. Thank you.